Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke and we're in 2020. It sounds so futuristic. 2019 has been an eventful year for us at M5 Stack and we've got a lot more in store for you in 2020. In today's video we're going to be showing off all the cool stuff that we have to get you started in 2020. First up, we have some sweet merch. A new style of M5 Stack t-shirt with a nice lightning bolt on there. Uh, this is the white version. All of the t-shirts are available in medium to triple XL. And here we have the black version. little M5 Stack logo on the back as well. You can see them modeled by our lovely M5 Stack employees. And we also have a tote bag to store your stash of stacks. What do you think about that? Okie dokie, that's all good for the merch. Let's have a look what M5 Stack products we have. So, Next up we have the Power C Hat. So the Power C Hat is essentially a little charging station for these 16340 batteries. There's two of them on here. 750 milliamp hour batteries at 3.7 volts. Let's have a look what else we've got on here. So it's using the uh, IP 3005 chip for protection from overcharging and such. Um, has a little USB C there for power in. Little button here, uh, press once to turn on, double tap to turn off. Uh, the typical growth port that's on most of our devices. This is I2C for communicating with other I2C devices. Um, there's another chip on here, uh, IP, can't remember exactly which number it was. And there is a type A USB, which is for outputting power. So you can also charge your other M5 stack devices, M5 stick, whatever, from these batteries. And then if the stick C is slotted in there, you can charge that up or you can use it as a power module for your stick C. And lastly, there's a small battery connector on there if you wanted to charge a LiPo battery. So there we have it, the Power C hat. Let's have a look at some of the specs on this. Okay, next up we have a miniaturized version of the Stick V. Not only is it miniaturized, it is now in unit format. So it can be connected by Grove to your other M5 stack devices, communicating over I2C. Um, you can externally power it using the USB-C port here. The camera it is using is the OV2640, which I believe is a two megapixel camera. It has 16 megabytes of flash. Um, if you're familiar with the Stick V, it's using a RISC-V chip. So this is using the same chip that the Stick V is using. If we flip it around there, you can see there is a SD card slot on the back for storing your pictures, your uh, AI models, etc. Um, tiny little hole here for a RGB status LED uh, that you can also control. And then on each side you'll see some small buttons, an A and a B button which are also programmable. There we have it, the Unit V. Let's have a look at some of the specs of this. Okay, 
let's see what's up next. Here we have a brand new base for the M5 stack. The Base X, not SpaceX, Base X. The Base X is essentially a base for all your kind of robotics projects, especially with those that are using the LEGO Mindstorms or EV3 LEGO motors, as this has one, two, three, four ports for LEGO Mindstorms motors, which I believe that is the RJ11 connector. Have a quick look around this as well. Um, there's a tiny little PDM microphone here on the base of the device. And if we flip it around to the back, there we can see um, there's a barrel connector port there uh, for a DC adapter, uh, AC DC adapter that, that can go from 9 to 12 volts for powering all your motors and these servos here. So there's two slots for servos, regular sort of SG90 or um, continuous rotation servos, etc. And uh, we have port uh, C and port B. Those familiar with the M5 stacks will know that port C is for UART communication and port B is for GPIO, regular analog and digital interface. Okay, let's flip it over to the back. You can see here that we have um, two wall mounting slots here. Um, I believe there's no magnets in here as in most uh, M5 stack bases. There's a little plastic sort of insert here that you can sort of break out if you need to root wires out the back. And uh, two M3 mounting holes. So you can either use these mounting holes to screw onto a wall, etc. Um, but actually, we can use them for mounting this Lego base. So there's a nice handy little Lego base that can attach all of your different Lego Technics parts to. So there we go, that is the Base X. Let's have a look at some of the specs of the Base X. Okay, last but not least, we have the NV-IoT Plus. Another of the telecommunications modules from M5 Stack uh, for all of your IoT needs. Um, inside we can see here it's a um, it's a SIM device, so you can put your nano SIM in there. Um, remember, with all of those telecommunication modules from M5 Stack, double check to make sure that the bands that it uses are available in your country before you buy it. Okay, so um, inside we have a helical antenna built in. Uh, there's a slot there for an IPEX connector if you need to add extra range. Um, little button here for on and off. Uh, yeah, button power. Two little uh, status LEDs here, which, which you can see from the outside. And the benefit of this particular module is that it's ultra low power. So it only consumes around 2.1 volts. So you could technically even run this off two AA batteries. So yeah, the MB-IoT Plus. Let's have a look at some of the specs of this device. Okay, that sums up all of the products we have on offer in January. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments about any of the products we've shown off in the video today, please make sure to leave them in the comment section. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.